Hope everybody's having fun watching me struggle or play with this threading on the mini lathe. Like I said, it snowballed real fast. You got to see uh, first just playing around with this little chuck, making an arbor for it. Then uh, I'm trying to fix this dial here that tells you when the things engage and then playing with the gears. So this video, I guess, will be the final. <laughs> the precision chuck did arrive. I'll show opening it, and I'll actually show machining here, uh, making this particular arbor. So kind of fun. I'm having a blast with this, and I'm glad I did take it on, because now I've got that capability under my belt. Uh, so also stay tuned for the next video. I will be doing a laser conversion on the 3018. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you next Friday. Holding my breath on this one. Didn't take long to get here all the way from Rhode Island. Precision Chuck. Nice small box so hopefully it is the small chuck. As they didn't describe it in the ad, I had to go and research it on other sites to see what it was. Yeah, that's the box that they showed. And they taped it shut. All right, right? I think so. Yep, yeah, it's taped. Well, it was already opened. Uh, Lambrick or whatever. It looks small. Yep, it's small. Oh. Let's see how, wow, <laughs> being, yeah, that's just cool looking. Oh, they never opened the package up. All right, jeez. Uh, I never did see how small a bit this goes. This doesn't go that small. Oh, boy. All right. One mistake. <laughs> I don't think it goes that small. Looking at the curvature of the jaw. Yeah, it's threaded, all right, so I was right on that. Because all they said was R5 16th mount. What is that? <laughs> wow, look at this guy. Brand new, too. Yep. Oof. Does it spin easily? Yep, it does. How small does it go? Oh, those are the jaws. Whoa. That is a kick. All right, so it goes all the way down to almost nothing, huh? Just about. I'm not going to go anything smaller than that. Nice, Jesus. All right, so I gotta make an arbor that hits that face. But, woof, this is pretty smooth feeling, huh? Mm, all right, a little bit of clean out. It's got some oil on it, minor. This is gonna be interesting to see. It better not wobble for this price tag, I'll tell you that. There's maxed out right there. What size is that? Let me get a quarter inch bit here. Quarter go in there? No. <laughs> Come down a bit. Here's 13.64. Does not go in. Wow. <laughs> uh, 13.64. Come down to 11.64. No. Uh -oh. That's not too good, huh? How about 964? That doesn't go in. You're kidding. I'm all the way open, right? Yeah. 964 doesn't go in there. So this is for really small stuff. Come down one size. One eighth. One eighth goes in there. Okay. And it clamps on it. <laughs> all right. So one eighth and down. Not bad. So I can use the two, use my other cheap Chinese chuck. And yeah, when I guess you use a bit that's that small, then yeah, you want some precision here. That's the one eighth back in the drawer. So my first one, 
Uh, I wish they made one a little bit bigger than this because I'd buy that too, but kind of exciting. I'll see what happens. All right, set up for it. <laughs> Barely touched this. Um, so it's under a thousandth, maybe two thousandth under half inch. So it's all turned without even loosening it from the collet. Everything should be absolutely straight. This is kind of tight to stop it in here. I already kind of moved it over and looked at it. Um, so why is that thing? Cutter still looks crooked for some reason. Yeah, I am tilted already. All right, I'm just going to say that's it. And I think I'm just going to shut the motor off, <laughs> the lathe off to quit. Because that's faster than probably trying to play with this knob here. So, wish me luck. Here goes nothing, huh? All right, so I got a little bit of speed. There goes the gears again. I can't go fast. I don't know what is wrong with these gears, and they better not screw up on me. I'll tell you that. That's still fast. Slow it way down. All right, so here we come up to engaged. Yep, I'm right on it, so scratch pass. Get ready to kill the machine. Didn't make it. There we go. And boom. I'm at 20... One, two, three, four and a half, 24. So I'll do it again at 24. Come in, 24, right there. Kill this, come back up, give it some speed, barely. There we go. All right, engage. That should land right on it, huh? Bingo, it's right on it. Kill it. All right, so I can do a 25 now, hmm? 24, 25. And turn it back on, go slow. I'm not gonna check the pitch because I haven't changed the gears. That's too fast. All right, coming up on it and gone. That's 25. There it goes, it's right in the same groove, man. Boy, is this close to disengaged. <laughs> All right, so 26, 27, let's say. 26, and let's do it again. So I'm probably not going to film or record all of this because it can get to be boring in a hurry. Coming up and, oh, missed it. There it is. Right on it, beautiful, huh? Boom. All right, so uh, what did I do? That's 25, that's 27. So I'm just going to keep going at this and bring you back then. Getting closer, very tight. <laughs> it can just sort of start and then it binds. And I think I nicked it here, but I can always come back in with the parting tool and clean that face up. And I just uh, discovered I can start engaging it out here before I even turn the motor on. So, turn this off, this on. I think I was at 10. Am I at it? Yeah, I think I'm at the depth I want. I forgot here. So, let's see what happens, huh? Yeah. Very painful. Yeah, I must have nicked it because I'm real close right there. So, oof, out further. In, I was at 10 thousandths, go to 11 thousandths. Oh, because I'm going in further, I'm starting to hit this edge. So I'm going to hit it. But that's no big deal. Like I said, I'm doing off a relief. What's it doing now? Just tight. All right. So go in a fraction at a time until I get it there. Huh? So now I'm at 11. And engage it right there. <coughs> wow. Then I 
it to hand turn it to finish it, huh? Yeah, but it's like right freaking there to hit. <laughs> All right, well, in back into 11, 12 thousandths, huh? What's it doing now? So they're pretty. Yeah, this is rougher than the first one. Maybe I should use some cutting fluid here. What's it on? Very tight. Wow. All right. I'm not sure how far in I have to go, but this is going to be real interesting here, huh? So I am in another thousandth. Uh, engage it right there. Let me try a little cutting fluid on it and see what happens. <laughs> Why not? All right. And close that. You know, I wish I could f fix that relief, widen it now, but can't. Can't take anything loose. Oof, I think I just cleared it, huh? Out and back in. That was 11 or something. So it's a matter of just playing. Okay. Customer calling. Whoa. That's very close now. So it might be just one more pass, huh? 11. Go into 12 thousandths. I forgot what number I was at. Engage that. Let's see where we're going to go here, huh? Come on, go. There we go. All right, come on, baby. It's cutting material. And there, huh? Turn it a little bit further. Why not? Until it looks like, yep, just starting to scrape it now. All right, so that was 12. Go back into 12 so I don't forget it. 10, 11, 12. Where is it now? Huh? Am I there? Is it there? It's there, folks. All right. Nice. I mean, this is tight fit. I can feel it kind of like cleaning up the threads. All right. One arbor complete. I just want to clean up this face and I'm done. Well, here's the test. <laughs> Turn it on. It looks like it's wobbling a little bit. But that just might be... Eh, can you tell? So, let's try one drill bit. See what happens, huh? Which way do I gotta go? Wrong way. Wrong way, Jose. How precise is the precision? Just do my little trick anyway. Turn it on, and it's wobbling like hell. Great. Precision chuck, huh? How about another drill bit? Oh, this I, this will go back. No way. This is bull, man. A Chinese chuck is better than this thing. Uh, did I say, say this thing held 960 fourths? Yeah, I think it does. Am I going the wrong way again? Yeah. Yeah, it won't hold that. All right. So 964 doesn't go in there. Here's the 1 8 bit. Yeah, it held an eighth. It's a little rusty, but what does that do? That's better. So 1 8 works. Is that other bit crooked? 1A, what was the other bit? <laughs> I don't know what, i uh, put this one back. 1A, let me go down, 330 seconds. 330 seconds, huh? Whoops. All right, how's that go? That's perfect. All right, so I may have a bad bit, I don't know. That's wobbling a little bit for a precision chuck. I'm actually pulling bits out of my junk drawer. Let's see what that does now. Now it's not wobbling. 
So yeah, a trick about you still got to reseat and futz with it to get it to sit right still applies. So let's just cut that off, face it. I'm done because I'm sure the, that I'm on this nice and square. That was squared up. I should put an indicator on that just to make sure, but uh, same way there could be some junk in these threads. Because we're going to clean the threads up before I pull this out. And I'll do a bunch of more double checking. Is, is there junk down in there? Uh, I need to be under the magnifying glass. So, all right, well, that's it. I made an arbor. <laughs> to show here, it's early in the morning, wondering what my threads really look like with extreme magnification. So here's the setup, and on the plate there, I've got the three screws that I'm gonna look at. My threads, a regular uh, screw, and a brand new stainless steel screw. So I'll move the camera over to the monitor and you can see what I see. All right, this is live view on the monitor. This is the stainless steel screw that's there right now. And you kind of see it's the very point or tip of the um, threads. Pretty rough stuff. So if I pull this off, see if I can get, this is the other, where are you, there you are. Oh, no, that's my finger. <laughs> it's over this way somewhere. There it is. So this is a regular galvanized store-bought. And the tips are rough too. And so is the like side walls to the threads. And then if I put mine underneath here, I'm going to have to refocus because this is taller. Where are you? There you are. All right, so we just going to keep rolling on me. There we go. And yeah, lighting isn't too hot. Oop, I got to go up to focus it. So not too bad for a first attempt here. Anything I can do with the light? Nothing I can do. I can flood it out, but... <laughs> So I'm pretty impressed, a lot of dust in there, but yeah, this is extreme magnification. So first time threading, I'm pretty impressed with it. And these are, again too are untouched. I haven't used a wire brush, sandpaper, or anything on it. This is just right off the lathe.